Genius special effects man Phil Tippett worked 30 years on the stop-motion masterpiece Mad God, and after watching it, I'm going to do about a five-minute review of it. Doesn't seem fair, but I'm going to do it anyway. Welcome back to ML Miller Frights. I'm ML Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Mad God is new streaming on Shudder. It's directed and written by Phil Tippett. A sole explorer makes his way down levels and levels of one horrific scene after the next in search of something. That's pretty much what I gleaned as the storyline to Mad God, the magnum opus of stop-motion effects man Phil Tippett, who worked on iconic films like the Star Wars trilogy, Jurassic Park, the Robocop trilogy, and tons more films we've all loved since childhood. Tippett is a true magician when it comes to special effects, specifically stop-motion animation, which has sadly gone by the wayside in favor of easier and much less interesting CGI. For me, there was always something more interesting to stop-motion. Maybe because I saw a making of video centering on Ray Harryhausen as a kid, and appreciated the hard work put into making these intricate models move and come alive through hours and hours of slight movements and photography. Whatever it was, whenever I see stop-motion animation, I feel like a kid again, and I find myself believing in movie magic. That's kind of how I felt while watching Mad God. It took Tippett 30 years to complete Mad God. One look at the intricate and labyrinthine world he has created, and you know why it took so long. As the gas-masked explorer ventures deeper into this strange world, he encounters surreal monsters in bizarre environments doing unnatural and mysterious things. To describe this journey in detail would be doing it a disservice. It's a quest that needs to be seen to be appreciated. This is a grimy and disgusting world. It's a world where what the top layer does affects the lower levels greatly. The junk, shit, and ooze from one layer seeps down to the next, these substances are processed and sent lower, making the explorer's campaign seem like he's venturing inside some kind of grand interconnected machine. In the end, this journey feels epic, even though it might be somewhat difficult to understand. As usual, I try my damnedest to glean what the filmmaker is saying whenever I watch a film. While some films really are just surface level and thematically anemic, something like Mad God, which Tippett spent most of his life on, had to have some kind of meaning behind it. While it is difficult to discern, it seems some sort of environmental message is being passed on here. It depicts a world polluted and dirty where one level ceases to care about the waste it makes as it is simply shipped off to lower levels for someone else to take care of. Nothing is wasted in this world as goo is processed into mindless slaves which in turn gets turned into fuel for the machine further down in the abyss. It could be saying that the pollution we make affects the whole system, making it a warning against waste and neglect. While it is a very dreary film as the explorer drudges through muck to get to his destination, it can also be seen as somewhat hopeful, knowing that whatever is made and left can be used and processed by something else. There's a sort of circle of life aspect to Mad God that gives off the notion that the trek this explorer takes isn't the first one and it won't be the last. There's also shades of 2001 A Space Odyssey, as Tippett takes the viewer on an intimate trip through the lifespan of an entire world. It's all spectacular in scope, and a bit too much for me to process from one viewing. That said, I try not to think too hard while watching Mad God, whether it's about the pointlessness of life as the explorer's journey seemed to lead him right back to where he started, or a damnation towards some kind of higher power that put him on that path to begin with, the best way to enjoy Mad God is simply to marvel at all Tippett has accomplished. Yes, this was a huge amount of work, and the end result is a view of an epically expansive and often horrifying world filled with beasts from your worst nightmares. It all makes sense in a crazy sort of way if you simply sit back and enjoy this wonderful gift Phil Tippett has unleashed upon us after so many painstaking hours of work. 
This won't be the first time I sit through Mad God, and if you're into old school stop motion animation, this will be a multiple watch for you as well. You're doomed to live the life you're meant to be Stuck inside your reality You're